What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about electronic diagnostic tools. I probably didn't say that right. You're going to want to stay tuned because I think, Drew, we don't know a lot of what we're talking no, about here. not at all. Welcome back to our YouTube guys. This is Drew Nicolaitis. Connor's back there behind the screen. And Drew, I am super scared to be talking about oh, yeah. any of this stuff right oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Like, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I, actually, I know you know how to use a voltmeter, but some, some of this new stuff, if it's not a code reader you just plug in, I'm kind of lost. I ain't gonna lie. As the cars become more technical and they become more precise and they got sensors everywhere, the scan tools, the diagnostics of electronics just becomes more and more and more. In the car industry, man, you almost have to be a genius to work oh, on yeah. some of these cars now. Absolutely. So, kudos. Definitely you know, need to know how to read and do math yeah. from the basics. Which, uh, I'm not real great at both. No, we only went to high school. <laughs> we don't have any college degrees, so just yeah. forewarned. We're good at a bunch of BS. But hey, listen, mm -hmm. guys, we sell a lot of these tools, and we want to let you know a little bit about them. I'm sure you guys will correct us in the comments, and man, do I look forward to reading some of those because I know I will probably get some of this stuff right here different. I mean, guys come on the truck all the time, and they start talking about resistance and stuff like mm -hmm. that and how certain leads don't. Uh, read out the right resistance and I just look at him and say okay sure yeah man sounds great didn't go to school for that but I'm glad you know a lot about it so let's jump into the most popular tool on the truck right now Bam. and that is what Drew the PP draw I love that name you know I mean the name says it all yeah, if yeah. You, I mean everybody needs a PP and if you don't then you're lost in life <laughs> PP. Um, I wasn't completely sure of what the heck this thing does um, so I watched Mr. Subaru's video and he doesn't. Sure, you didn't watch mine. Oh, yeah, there's two, but yeah. um, Matt's a minivan connoisseur, so that's why he had to throw that in there. But um, it was on a Jeep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He's got too many cars. Yeah. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> so uh, anyway, about it. Yeah. So you plug this guy in your OBD2 port, and apparently you can instead of going to your fuse box and start pulling fuses out and everything like you would on a draw. And I've done draw tests years ago when I actually worked on stuff, and. Um, this kind of lets you know, instead of just having a voltmeter sitting there, it's going to let you see a lot more information. You can bar graph it and whatnot. And then also you can Bluetooth it to your phone so you could be off site, not as in like, you know, down the road, but in another room or something. And you can watch the monitors yeah. uh, shut off, reset, and also what kind of draw you're creating. So pretty I'm going neat. to interrupt you for a second because that's absolutely not how it works. Oh, to get. <laughs> Here's how it works, guys. It has an internal battery. Uh, I'm just messing with you. No, it has no, an no. internal battery that supplies 12 volts to the car. So you will see that reading up here. Obviously, we don't have an OBD2 connector, so we can't do that. If you want to see some videos on this, you can go to our TikTok channel and watch that I did a live video demonstration on this with a Jeep. So it applies 12 volts to, through the OBD2 connector, and you can literally take the battery completely out of the car. You take the battery completely out of the car. Now on this bottom line down here, you're going to see how many milli millivolts that are reading through the system at that point. If you have anything over like seven millivolts, uh, you probably have a draw because seven millivolts is about industry standards on the car actually staying alive. And that's not a very much of a draw. keep memory on the radio it, and whatnot. Yeah, if you so. have something like 970 millivolts, you have a bulb on, you got a radio on, you got something like that on. So this is a quick checker to uh, find out if the customer is telling the truth and they say that their car is dying all the time because take their disconnect their battery hook this up, plug this in, link it to your phone. You can walk over to the car if you want to start pulling fuses, but every time that you pull a fuse, you actually end up waking up the car mm -hmm. and the car has to go back to sleep. And it can be a real lengthy process. So you were right about the graphing of it. If you don't have time to dick with a car, you can plug this up and let it sit there for 12 hours and it will graph overnight. Mm -hmm. But the PP- Also, one more thing too, uh, and I know you sell it and I sell it, a memory saver. So yeah. um, these cars that are newer now, when you go to replace the battery, um, if you take the battery out of it, um, you're, you're going to lose, lose all your, settings. Your, uh, your radio code, your radio settings, seat different memory. stuff, seat memory, whatnot. But instead of spending 150 bucks or so on a memory saver, this guy is that too. So it's kind of a two-in-one tool on that yeah. too, which is nice. It's bonus city bonus with this city. right here. So what you want to do is check your it's draw. Free. What you want to do is check your draws with this right here first. And if you want to get into some piece of complicated equipment, that is the new DDM 300 Auto. Okay, so Royalty Automotive out there did a really, really, really good demonstration on this. I believe he did it on YouTube. Actually, yeah. I learned a little bit about it because I didn't get to 
to go to SEMA this year because we had to miss it, but this tool was not out when we went to our tool show. It did come out at SEMA. But guys, this is a auto meter that actually converts the conversion chart where you guys will go in there with your fluke. I mean, we're catching total crap on this right here from the guys in the comments on social media, but you go in there and you don't have to do a calculation uh, anymore. This does it for you. So this will check mini, this will check ATC, and it'll check maxi fuses. But the cool thing about it is you can actually literally go into the fuse, like this is a blue 15 amp fuse. You can go into this meter and you can set this meter to test only 15 amp fuses and it'll do the calculation for you and it'll tell you how many milliamps are going across that fuse. Speaking of milliamps and going across that fuse, they did something very genius here that I didn't even know existed. So um, I haven't opened one of these up yet and looked at it yet. So. Yeah, I sold two today, which is uh, absolutely awesome, but the two that I sold today are the customers that told me about it. So um, you have your maxi fuse here, which is the these little leads right here are magnetic, so you can actually hold this with one hand. You can go down to your fuses and you can check that. You can go into the ATC fuse, which I believe is this one, which is your this size right here. I don't even know what it's called. Full size. Yeah, whatever. but it's completely uh, measured out so that you can check this with one hand and look at the meter. And if you want to go into a mini fuse, you can flip this right here over, and this will check your mini fuses. It's but guys, sharp. you you can change this from five. 5 amps, 7.5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to over 30 amps. If you need to get into something where you're checking something over 30 amps, that's what this big dongle right here is for. So I don't know why you would need to check 30 amps on a car, but. I think some hybrid stuff and whatnot, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so some of the hybrids, but uh, one thing great about this meter is that it is a true RMS meter. And I believe, I saw a video last night that has a automatic AC DC voltage so it will be able to read AC DC volts without changing anything on the meter so it's like one of those smart meters that knows yeah. what it's doing before mm -hmm. you ever even touch it so this is on our website for $285 this is on our website for 209 uh, these two right here kind of pair together but if you are researching it and you are looking for some we have a boatload of them sitting right over there in stock and ready to go comes in a case mm -hmm. this one comes in a case easily storable in your toolbox and this is for all you electronic gurus out there. I also will mention that it comes with a couple alligator clips and it comes with your leads so that if you need to use it as a regular meter, you can. Um, had a lot of people saying that, uh, hey, my Snap-on meter does everything. My Snap-on meter is the best out there. I would probably disagree with you because Fluke actually owns the patent to mm -hmm. all of the calibration stuff for all meters. If you are a meter company like these guys right here, you have to pay Fluke for their calibration and um, send it through them to get any mm -hmm. of your meters calibrated. I'm so sure- They're the they're, industry standards. Yeah, they're so the I'm industry I'm pretty sure standard. they probably test the snap-on ones for them, or they might even have a hand in making them for all right. I know, so. Yeah. Well, that's enough about this one right here. The next thing we want to tell you about is the Power Probe Master Kit. There's a ECT. couple of Power Probe Master Kits. And I stepped out of camera here for just a second. Uh, Drew, you know a lot about that one? Uh, yeah, I sell it, man. Yeah, so this you sell is it. the uh, the Power Probe Four, and uh, what's nice about this one versus the three. Now the three Easy has a pretty nice redown on it, but the three and the, well, I guess the two also. I think there was a two back in the day. The screen the doesn't say probe. much, but the the val uh, uh, the voltage and whatnot, and tells you you know negative, positive. This guy's gonna give you a bunch of information that you might need or might not need. I don't know, mm -hmm. but. Um, so it's got nice lights on the front too. Separates that meter is it reads voltage at the battery, but it mm -hmm. also reads voltage at the tip. So you got two different readings where you can find out if you got the right voltage drop going from your battery to your device that you're trying to test. So that's what's different about the Power Probe 4 versus the Power Probe 3. But that puppy right there has got literally everything, oh, yeah. so everything in it, every accessory. That's probably imagine. one of the main things outside of you know hand tools that we sell in the truck is all of these guys, you know, your banana clips, your tips for your power probe, because everybody seems to lose them somehow. Mm -hmm. Your screw on, little pincher deals, and then also your ECT 3000, which is an awesome short finder. And I was, I mean, I was surprisingly, a lot of guys out there don't even know it exists. And it's like, I mean, it's, it's, it's dummy proof of how to use it. You yeah. clip it on whatever part of the harness that you're thinking there might be a short in, and you literally run this little wand across it, and it's going to beep and tell you, and it can go through the insulation uh, and, you know, the uh, the trim on, on the wire loom and everything. Mm -hmm. And 
let you know. So it, it's, it's definitely a helpful item, and it's not extremely expensive either. Speaking of that ECT3000, if you guys have bought a Power Pro before and you need an ECT3000 because you don't want to just buy it in this master kit, you can buy this for approximately 140 bucks. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't, don't hold me to that. You check our website. $150. Check our website if you want to see it because some of these tools on our truck are uh, a different price than they are on the internet because we love you guys more than we do our truck sure. guys. Um, so uh, the ECT3000, you can buy separate. If you want to buy the bulb uh, adapters, you can buy separate. If you want to buy the leads, you can buy separate. So you get the point. Anything that's in this kit, you can buy a la carte. You don't have and to buy it all together. Both of these kits also have extended leads also. So yeah. your basic tool, your basic power probes, only going to have, what, is it 12 foot or something like that? Uh, foot? No, it's a, it's a 20 foot. 20 foot. 20 okay. foot. And then... This one doesn't have an extension on it. That one does. That one does, yeah. But the extra 20 foot lead that it gives you, that opens up the door for you guys that are working on heavy equipment mm -hmm. like a dump truck or a semi truck or something like that where you got to go way back and mm -hmm. test some bulbs. Or if you're or in test the like... trunk of a car and you need to get to the battery underneath the hood, vice yeah. versa. So. Yeah. Best thing about our Power Probe, it has a surge protector on it right here on the side so you will not smoke anything. I use it because I don't know a lot about electricity. So mm -hmm. I use one of these right here all the time to power up different devices around the car, check a horn, roll a door up. Actuate, actuate a door lock or turn lights on and it actually has a speaker put in it there too yeah, so yeah, if yeah. you're doing uh, stereo yeah, stuff you can actually hear the sound going through your speaker wire to find out if your speaker That's wires cool. are actually doing that thing only thing different about that kit versus this kit this is a power probe 300 sorry i'm talking a lot but i got a lot of information this is I'm a tired, so power i've probe. worked all day i don't know what he's been this doing, is a power so. probe three and uh, it comes with a DMM meter, which is just a basic voltmeter that comes with that. A little more glorified kit, but you do get all your back probe piercers and you get some other leads where you can make it and jump it if you're not interested in doing that. Then we sell this separate lead set by itself. So if you have a regular power probe, but you want the lead set by itself, we also sell that. So enough about power probe. Man, we love those guys. Uh, they're kind of strict on us, but we... Uh, we understand what they got going on, and uh, they're they're great, great people. That's enough about that company. One of my other companies that I really like to rep is a company called Electronic Specialties. So, Electronic Specialties is that not the same meter that's on the Cornwall truck? It absolutely is. One hundred. And I have a friend that's a Cornwall guy, <clears throat> and uh, he will even agree with you on that. Yeah, and it definitely is. So, and it's about half it. the price. Of the Cornwall one. Yeah. So, yeah. If you like red, get this one. If you like blue, then get the Cornwall. Paint this red one blue. So. <laughs> yeah. so, that is a true deluxe automotive meter. A lot of you guys will say, hey, I got a Fluke 88, and I'm proud of you for having one. They're 700 and something dollars if you buy a Fluke 88. This on our tool truck, Drew, is like 160 Oh, yeah, bucks. yeah. It's, it's definitely a bargain. And I'm, the Power Probe voltmeter that comes in that kit, they also sell it separate. It's a good voltmeter, but this guy is going to have a little bit more functionality. It's too. got tack, hertz, uh, dwell, temperature. Uh, it does all kind of different things that you need to do. Automotive specific. So a lot of guys will get on our truck and they'll buy a Fluke 115 or mm -hmm. they'll buy a Fluke 87. Mm -hmm. And a Fluke 87 is a great meter, but a Fluke 87 is not... 100% dedicated mm -hmm. to just automotive. Mm -hmm. The ESI 585K is dedicated to 100% automotive. It and also so has an amp clamp also that comes with this set. So uh, have... No, it's an RPM clamp. RPM clamp. So the RPM, RPM clamp, 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 you can hook it around right. cylinder number one, put it on the spark plug, mm -hmm. and you can tell what your RPM yep. is. Or might you yep. might want to check the RPM on your lawnmower. Yeah. You know, I don't know. There you go. Some There's are... the amp clamp I'm thinking about. Yeah, See, yeah. I'm not there... completely dumb. Here's your amp clamp if you... <laughs> If you want to get into reading uh, 400 amps or 1,000 amps, DC. yeah, we have a lot of different amp clamps. I'm not going to go through all that. You know why? Because I don't really know. No, a lot. I was going to say, I, yeah, I really know a lot you can hang it on your doorknob. It looks Pe cool. People come out and they ask uh, if I have an amp clamp, and I'll say, yeah, sure, man. I know it measures voltage going through the wire, and it tells you if you have a current on there or whatnot, but that's about it. That's yeah, about all I know. Yeah, yeah. That's about all I know. Some of the other products from Electronic Specialty is the Fuse Buddy. This is a 20 amp it's fuse. A hot item. Yeah, hot item. This is a 20 amp Fuse Buddy. They make a 30 amp Fuse Buddy. They make a dual Fuse Buddy that accepts the maxi fuse and the small fuse. Um, basically, you will plug this into your car and you can read what voltage is actually going through that fuse because it'll give you the, the digital readout right here with it. So, a um, little quick little tutorial on that. And I believe that's the one that's got both of them in mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yep. That's the 309. So that one does the big fuses and, and the, the small minis. fuses. 
Yeah. Some small stuff like this, you get, you kind of, unless you're doing uh, electric diag or drivability stuff all the time, you probably don't think about it, but it's good stuff to have because you'll get caught where you need something like this and it's not that expensive either. So yeah, so, so smart to have. All of this stuff right here is very affordable. Uh, Matco is probably the worst at rebranding that Absolutely. because they actually rebrand this. Mm -hmm. And this kit right here is in the Matco flyer and it's like $90 higher than we sell it for. And mm -hmm. guys, what's so funny is they'll bring me the flyer and they'll say, hey man, can you get me this? And I say, yeah, dude, that's mm -hmm. an electronic specialties part number 802, whatever it is. So here it is. They also make the, um, the spade, mm -hmm. uh, the one that comes in like the little aluminum case. We have that one right there also. Anyway, this is a master set of leads. I think that's a good video. One day, and I like doing it in front of customers, I'll go to a shop and the Matco lady or girl has just been there and the flyer's flying around, I'll grab it in front of the customers and I'll be like, all right guys, we're gonna teach you some and it, just point to every item and I'll tell you who makes it and I sell it also. So we need to do a video. Yeah, that. that's be pretty cool. Good. It's a great comparison video. Absolutely. Mr. Subaru does a really good job on exposing a lot of people where, uh, I mean, dude, Matco don't make nothing. No. <laughs> I mean, nor, they does make, Corn, they, nor does Cornwell. They either. make they make toolboxes and yeah. probably tool carts. No, they make a nice they, toolbox. But, but they don't right. make a lot of their other stuff. All this stuff right here that is being carried, this is all private label. So you will see the manufacturer who makes it, and it's on our truck where we save you money, guys. We don't go through a branding process where we put text choice on here. We're never interested in that. We're not like another tool guy that's on here where we put our name uh, on products that we mm. bought off of Alibaba yeah, or yeah. something like that. So and a we're weird not, color combo too. There's too many. No. There's too many. Absolutely. There's too many good tools in the tool industry that need reckon. reckon Absolutely. What's the word I'm looking recognition? for? Recognition. Recognition. They need recognition for what what they make. Good job, Drew. Good job. Anyway, master set of leads right here. ESI 802. You might buy it on Amazon, but we'd love it if you'd bought it from us. Uh, two companies that we, uh, well, yeah, two companies that I brought on the truck just to show you that there are other companies out there. I know you sell the hell out oh, of this, yeah, yeah. but is a uh, company called uh, Tex Texon Fa Faxon Faxton. 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 Yeah. yeah. I'm drawing a blank. It's a Russian company. No, it's Faxton. not Russian. So basically they made like an alligator clip with a back pinner so you could go in and pin those little adapters and hook it right to your meter. Very affordable, very cheap. A lot of guys split this right here on my route and oh, they yeah. take half the colors yeah. and the other guys take the other colors. You don't need all of them. Because yeah. you don't need 20 pin, no. 20 back back probers. Uh, that's a great. This sounds super awesome because, yeah, you got uh, bent, straights, 90s, 70s. And these are all probes, so you can probe in the back of plugs and everything. And also, it comes with some banana clips. Yeah. I call them banana clips. They're not called banana clips, but it sounds nice. So, Bertie, the guy on my route, he he schooled me on this one day, and he said, oh, man, you don't back pan anything because you lose a lot of resistance on that. And I looked at him and acted like I knew what he was talking about, but I really didn't know what he was talking about. I told him he needed it anyway. And um, You could damage the connector and stuff and the pin <laughs> itself, but, I mean, if you're having to stab it that hard, you probably didn't need to be working on the car in the first place. So. Right. But yeah. Yeah. So this is just a little highlight of the few things that we offer in the diagnostic world. You guys will see us do uh, demonstrations on scanners, all tail ultras. We'll do it on top don scanners. Uh, all that stuff goes into conjunction. But this is what you see behind the scenes in the shops where you actually get the guys actually working and deep pinning stuff. That's why it costs so much to get your car worked on because they have a lot of diagnostic stuff that they have to buy. If you are interested in buying any of these products, you can go to our website and purchase any of these i would say we have like a do connor do we have an electric section yes yeah so we got a section in there for electronics you can go in there and find any of these products online the only thing i know about electricity is pretty much how to get these shorts out of my ass that's what i say all the time so uh we'll pass that right there on to you do you have anything else drew no yeah all, man. i don't either man we hope we didn't confuse you guys too much I know it's a quick video. We just wanted to highlight some of the products that we have. We thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you'd follow us over on TikTok, that's Text Choice Tools. Isn't that right, Connor? And if you want Instagram. to follow us on Instagram over here, over yeah. here that's maybe at Text Choice. So uh, follow us on those two and subscribe to this channel. We don't want you to miss out. We're almost to the level where we're going to give something big away. YouTube deserves it. You guys have been doing really great. We can't wait to read your comments, and we appreciate you staying tuned. You guys have a great week.